Good morning, Renee popping into your inbox. Um, on this chilly morning, I'm here in the Pisgah National Forest on the Davidson River. It's about 25 degrees and it's just stunning. And I'm popping into your inbox to offer up a question of the week, a question that would help maybe all of us live more intentionally, live from the inside out. And the question that I'm sitting with this week is what would support me in letting go? What would support me in releasing and letting go? So everywhere I look right now, friends, clients, and myself, um, we're being invited to let go of old ways of being, old patterns, maybe old parts of our persona or identity um, that we were clinging to before the pandemic, um, ways of being, ways of working in the world, ways of showing up in our relationships. And what we know is it feels so free and so good to let go, right? Um, and it can be difficult, um, but it is essential for us to let go in order to create space for what wants to be birthed through us, what wants to be created, what wants to be experienced through us. So I invite you this week to sit with that question. What would support me in letting go? I led a uh, Wild Souls movement class yesterday and some of the women shared um, when I sink into trust, when I spend time in nature, when I'm around a soul friend, a trusted friend that lets me show up warts and all, when I stop running my life from my head and start letting my heart have a voice, when I get still, and I slow down. So these are some of the things they shared that support them in letting go. So I invite you to sit with that. I'm gonna include a beautiful poem below from Dear Mary Oliver around letting go and a little bit more support for that. And some upcoming opportunities that I have to support you um, personally in letting go would be December 21st. I'm gonna be offering a winter solstice virtual retreat called Still Dark and Quiet. It's an evening retreat. Um, it's gonna be very delicious and, and, and focused on deep rest. Um, we still have some spots available for our January 27th through 29th, Awakening Your Wild Soul Retreat at Kripalu Center for Yoga and Health. It'll be a beautiful, deep meditative experience, a little bit smaller than my other retreats. Um, and if you're in the Western North Carolina area, I have things going on every week, including some new groups that I'm starting um, for women leaders and uh, women creatives and women who own their own businesses starting in January and February. So you can check those out below. And um, I'm gonna leave you just for a moment with a little bit of, um, a little bit of river therapy. 